Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Anybody that is new to the channel, my name is Chris, and in this video, we're gonna talk about Jivo stock. Now, Jivo is a channel favorite, so I just wanna update you guys on what exactly is going on with Jivo. They just reported the earnings, and I basically just wanna talk about all their financials on whether or not they overperformed, they underperformed, and how investors actually took the news, and what type of news did it have, again, with investors, right? And what type of returns this company actually has against the market long term. If you guys are a believer in Jivo, you guys know I have made a lot of videos about Jivo and my recent video about Jivo was about the type of risks Jivo actually has. But in this video, it's just strictly financial, so I just want to update you guys on what type of financials they actually put out, right? So as always, I always try to give you guys the most up-to-date information that I possibly can find to make sure you guys are the most up-to-date. And if there's something you like and you do enjoy, want to be part of our growing community, please remember to subscribe down to the channel and hit the boy the big notification bell and the big thumbs up button it does help me out so without further ado guys let's talk about jivo so jivo stock right now after hours guys is trading at nine dollars and 87 cents okay this is the chart of their past six months this was a penny stock and then out of nowhere has hit a high the 52 week highs of around fifteen dollars and fifty seven cents the 52 week lows was 46 cents there is a lot and extreme volatility with this company okay but in the past five trading days it has been declining because a lot of things has been going on with the market and spe specifically on march 17 when they released their earnings after hours okay so let's talk about the earnings okay in the earnings they have many different types of highlights they want to talk about their net zero project and what type of information what type of plan they actually have for the net zero project the net zero one is expected to produce about 45 mgpy of energy dense liquid hydrocarbons okay they're also expected to produce around 400 million pounds per year of protein rich animal feed and about 30 million pounds per year of corn oil okay and that's pretty good okay this is going to be the next step in the next generation of you know saving energy of renewable energy okay they already started the net zero one project and they're already in talks of the net zero two Two project and the net zero three project is going to be later on in the future okay in february 2021 jivo signed an amendment to its fuel sales agreement with scandinavian airline system sas to basically give them five million gallons per year of sustainable aviation fuel and that revenue was supposed to be worth around 100 million dollars okay as of february 26 2021 jivo had approximately 530.6 million dollars in cash and no significant type of debt and in my opinion when it comes to penny stocks or a company that has such volatility like this and that's not really producing too much revenue as of yet or in this upcoming years that's pretty good not to have any sort of debt okay so let's talk about their actual financials they ended the quarter with cash and cash equivalents of 78.3 million dollars the revenue totaled 0.5 million for the quarter compared to 6.9 million in q4 2019 Woof, that is a steep steep dip and a huge drop off okay the revenue was basically five hundred thousand dollars compared to 6.9 million year over year okay that is a huge decrease and that's not you know good news for investors okay hydrocarbon revenue totaled four hundred thousand dollars or 0.4 million for the quarter compared to one million year over year another loss okay loss from operations was seven million for the quarter compared to 6.2 million in q4 2019 the loss of operations could probably be because of the building of the net zero one project so you know i i kind of get that one but I, I i don't understand the revenue or the hydrocarbons okay the non-gap cash ebitda loss of 5.1 million for the quarter compared to 4 million year over year the next net loss per share of 15 cents based on 120 million weighted average of shares outstanding for the quarter compared to 50 cents 13.6 million uh weighted average shares outstanding for 2019 okay so they, they improved in their their per share losses i guess okay their adjusted loss per share send seven cents on 120 million weighted average shares outstanding compared to 50 cents based on 13.6 million shares in year over year one of the biggest things already that i am taking from these losses or from these financial highlights is that 
the Net Zero One project probably did a huge hit on them and they didn't have any significant sort of revenue, okay? They haven't really gained any sort of income. They've been getting a lot of money from selling their stocks, not because it's been very volatile. They've been taking advantage of the stock price being so high, selling some shares, getting some capital, basically reinvesting it back into the Net Zero One project, which is good. Instead of getting a whole bunch of funding from other companies or private investors, it's always good to always try to keep everything in-house, in my opinion. You're always going to gain more. You're always going to profit more instead of trying to pay off a third party or a, a, another investor or some, some, somebody else is trying to take some chunk out of your change, right? So the CEO, or the Dr. Patrick R. Gruber, Jivo's CEO, stated that Net Zero One is a first of its kind off the grid type of plant where we are putting great effort into making Net Zero One the most sustainable plant it can be. I'm glad we have the customer security city group to help us with the debt financing and the economics of net zero one are attractive at this stage. I am pleased that we are making progress on filling up production capacity at net zero two as evidenced by the recent SAS contract. We are making great progress fast. You can kind of see that the CEO is optimistic about the future of this company. Of course, all CEOs are going to be optimistic about their companies, right? But the net zero one project is going to be very impactful later on okay renewable energy and saving energy and trying to save the environment is going to be the next big thing later on in the future okay i do not know how long the transition will be from fossil fuels to renewable energies especially what jivo is trying to do i don't know how long it would take to actually flip that switch or to change that transition it's going it's not going to take you know a couple months it might take some years you know five ten years but that transition will take place, you know, in the future. Okay, when? No idea, but I I know it's gonna take place. Okay, everybody's trying to be cleaner, trying to you know save more energy. You know, China's on the other side, trying to be more energy friendly. They're trying to have more you know EV cars over there. So that that's a pretty good step. Okay, yeah, Jivo didn't have a pretty good financials. I could kind of see why there was a huge sell off um this past week on Jivo but their financials weren't good, but the type of potential is still there, especially with the Net Zero projects, okay? The Net Zero project is going to be the next big thing, in my opinion, and you could kind of see with the SAS contract of $100 million in revenue, that's going to be a pretty good first step, okay? That's just one of many of the contracts that Jivo will be getting in the future. So what do I think about Jivo stock and the price that it is right now? So right now it's trading at $9.87. I have said in my previous videos that right this price if it's ever trading around ten dollars or even less than around eight dollars that's a pretty good price point to jump into jivo i do not see this company ever dropping back down to five dollars in the near future i do see this company growing um, momentum long term i do still think it is a little bit overvalued in the company so i do see it coming down to the nine eight dollar mark i am a jivo shareholder and i have jivo stocks in my portfolio Am I really bullish on Jivo? I'm bullish on Jivo long term. Short term, I'm not too bullish on it, but I'm trying to hold on to stocks and build up my positions because I know Jivo will be that impactful company later on in the future. Just like Tesla. Tesla is going to be even more impactful later on in the future. And I do think Jivo could do that same impactful thing in the renewable energy space long term. Okay, so I do see it dropping down to maybe an even nine, $8.50 $8 type, type deal. Um, it's still going to be a little bit overvalued, especially with the market cap of $1.9 billion with no real significant sorts of revenue. Just look at their beta 3.23. That is extremely volatile. So you guys should be very aware of what type of volatility this company is presenting. All right, guys. So I do hope you guys did enjoy the video. I just want to talk about financials. I have made a lot of videos about Jivo. If you guys want to be more in depth on what is going on with Jivo, please hit the like button and that will kind of show me that you guys like these videos and I'll keep on making more and more and more and more Jivo videos just for you guys. All right, guys. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate the support I've been getting as of late from each and every one of you. We're almost at a thousand subs and I greatly appreciate it. So thank you all for watching. Have a great day and till next time, guys. Peace out. Bye.